Hello, this is Critical Information Bureau coming from Hall, England. Ayong Akumbe is speaking. We are the people that bring you the truth, nothing but the truth. Because the truth is what is going to set you free. We don't accept donations. Please make your donation to your counties uh, and interim government headed by Dr. Sako. I'm going to talk today about the direction in which La Republic is taking this battle. I'm going to use a few characters to just explain. The first one is Ellie Smith. Ellie Smith appeared several times. I think he worked for Equinox in those days. I don't know if he's still working for Equinox Television. Ellie Smith was a staunch critic of La Republic. Ellie Smith was a very strong critic of La Republic and their violence. I learned from Ellie Smith several things. And one of them was that the Southern Cameroonians can revert or will revert to uh, armed struggle. He, he, he predicted that accurately. Ellie Smith, I used, to go, I used to go to Equinox and listen to Ellie Smith. I used to download from YouTube videos of Ellie Smith and then distribute them on social media about three years ago. Ellie Smith was our main man inside Cameroon and he was bold and he spoke the truth. Today, we are hearing that Ellie Smith is working for La Republic to Cameroon. Make a note of that. Momo, is it called Jean-Pierre Momo or something like that? He's a Bamleke guy who was against La Republic. It was from Momo that I learned about PWD. That after the United Republic of Cameroon was formed, they ran to PWD and took all the caterpillars and then started renting it back to Southern Cameroonians. I learned that from Momo. I also got videos from Momo, downloaded them and distributed them on social media. Momo was our supporter. Where is Momo now? He's a minister in Cameroon. Okay, just those two cases. Some of the activists like Foncha and So Foncha, one minute they are working for the interim government, they are taking, uh, 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 they're sending money to them to send to Cameroon, they are doing negotiations for us. The next minute, they are saying that they are for 10 state federation and they don't like the interim government. We need to look at where this struggle is heading. Because if we don't know, then we'll not be able to fight this war. Cho Ayaba did not start off at the beginning as a working for La Republic. That's not what he started. He started this struggle working for Southern Cameroonians. He, we had a problem from the beginning, but he was working for Southern Cameroonians. Where is he now? He's a trusted general of La Republic. Tapang Ivo the same. This struggle was in his hands. Tapang Ivo. Where, where is he now? Working for La Republic. There seemed to be a pattern that we need to understand that if we are not careful, La Republic will be controlling our own struggle. Okay? La Republic will, con will control our struggle. That is what is going on. They are using the money they are getting to bribe people, keep bribing everybody. And what is going to happen in the long run is we're going to end up not fighting La Republic, but fighting La Republic agents. That is what we're going to end up doing. If you come out, you go to Cameroon now and say, I am an NGO and I'm going to bring Amber Boys to you. I'm going to get the Amber Boys from the bush and bring it to you. You are going to get money from La Republic. You will get 
money from La Republic. It's now a money game. Let me tell you people, black people, my African people, my Cameroon people, we sold our own brothers for a very long time as slaves. There's no emotions about it. It's about your stomach. It's about who is paying. It's about what you can get from the system. It's not about black people. Black life does not matter. Black life does not matter. It's about how you can benefit from the system. That is why chiefs, our leaders in Africa supported slave trade for hundreds of years. I said hundreds of years. We never stopped slave trade. The business collapsed in Europe. That's the only reason that we did not go to the bush and capture black people to sell. It was a lucrative business for black people and we participated in it. That is who we really are. Paul Bia knows that. So what Paul Bia is doing is doing exactly the same. Paying cash to Southern Cameroonians to destroy the struggle. If you go and get some of these Southern Cameroonians from the bush, bring them to me, I will pay you money. The business, there are lots of NGOs now. That is what they are doing. They are grabbing Southern Cameroonians, bringing them to La Republic to kill, and they take the money and put it in their pocket. That is the business that is going on. And the way to counteract this is maybe is to start to look at an alternative. Is start to look at an alternative. There are many alternatives. There are many alternative ways to look at this. All right. And I will just put some examples down here and to you guys, and you have to think about it. Because if we just want to trade toe to toe, I am beginning to think that in the long run, we are simply going to end up fighting each other. The money that is around, the money that is available to bribe some of these Southern Cameroonians is too much money. It is too tempting. All they have to do is to go and take, pick up three, four, 10 boys and bring them to La Republic and claim that these are Amazonians and they will be, these boys will be killed. They will be killed and they will get the money for it. They will get the money for it. When money is concerned, we black people, we don't have any scruples. That is why in America, most of the people in prison for theft is black. I'm not making up the story. Those of you in America, go open the prison and look inside. It's black people. Corruption, drug selling, stealing, and killing. Why do you think the black people in Cameroon are different? Why do you think the black people in Cameroon are different? We are looking for cash. Everybody is looking for money from everybody. Okay? And that, if this is... Let me tell you one thing. If we don't change tactic... It's not that I don't support what is going on with the, with, with the, with the uh, uh, AR, ARF. They're doing well. But if we don't change tactic, we're going to put those soldiers in pressure. The pressure we're going to put them, they will not be able to cope with it. Because you're just going to have all these groups coming into the bush to fight. It's not just Choyaba. Choyaba has started this. But there will be other people coming up and saying, well, I formed this new group. I'm going to fight the Amber Boys. I formed this new group. I'm going to fight the Amber Boys. I formed this other group. I'm going to fight the Amber Boys. What, what's happened to Akwanga? Nobody knows what he's doing now. Akwanga has disappeared under the, you know, under the radar. You don't see him. I mean, I don't want to say anything about uh, uh, Weber, who came here. Is it possible? Is it just possible that Paul Bia has made contact to Weber? This, is, this, this was the, 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 one of the heads of the struggle. Is it, he's not in Cameroon. He came here. I don't know where he is now. Is it just possible? That Spobia has sent him a brown envelope for to be quiet. And the only time it comes out is to tell you that the interim government is nothing. 
is it just possible i don't have any evidence but is it just possible change of tactic i don't want to say this without telling you how you can change your tactic and that should this should have been done years ago the first thing we need to do is show pride in our nation and the more we don't show pride in our nation then we are exposing ourselves to, to infiltration by la republic and all these enablers are doing this because we are not showing enough pride in our own country if they burn a house in southern cameroon you've got to burn a house in the republic you have to burn a house in the republic it's not about money or oh, give me money i need money for i need money look at me i've burnt a caterpillar in manfe give me money i've burnt a, a, a timber company in manfe give me money uh, let me tell you people southern cameroon you're burning things in southern cameroon you could burn things in the republic but you're not doing it we can't we don't have to give you a hundred million dollars to go and burn something in the republic where you can even threaten them like like the fear marshal i would like to thank fear marshal because he's the first one who says we are coming to the republic that is the only way if they burn your house there's no point for uh, uh, you know secretary chris to come and be announcing that a house has been burned we're not interested we're not interested anymore we're tired we don't need any announcement of how a house has been burned how somebody has done something which is so simple to do and you're coming to announce it to us we're not against that but what we're saying is it is time we tell our republic and I hope Chris and the president, uh, Sako, should tell uh, La Republic that if you burn our house, we are burning yours. Even the United Nations will support you. They, oh, the, what's the United Nations going to do? They're going to say, please, can you stop burning each other's houses? Okay? This, this should have been, please, stop burning each other's houses. Stop burning each other's villages. That's what it should be. But instead of that, the interim government is, uh, you know, they come to complain, to come to tell us that they've shot two children in a, in a, in a village. Look at this. They've just shot two children. <laughs> Who are you telling that to? You are capable of doing exactly the same thing. You are capable of doing exactly the same thing to them. While I'm not encouraging that kind of behavior, but I'm saying there's no point announcing it because you can do the same. You can do the same thing to La Republic. That's why I went down to the point of burning. They burned Kwa Kwa. You just sat quiet and announced it and placed it on, on, on television and placed it on uh, 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 social media for us to feel sorry that somebody took a match and burned Kwa Kwa. How much is matches? The, the, this is my question to Southern Cameroon. Matches cost now how much? You cannot be a victim to a match stick. Is that what we are? Eh? A La Republic soldier goes randomly to Okoyong and shoots five children. That is a major problem to us because we cannot do the same. Do, is, that, is that something that we need to have an inquiry about? That is not the way it works. You cannot just keep coming to us and telling us what uh, this bad thing and that bad thing that La Republic has done and you are not retaliating. Yeah, I, I understand. When it comes to the issue of IEDs and the Restoration Forces fighting back, fantastic job. Fantastic job. Okay? But I, it, what I'm saying is, and I hope some of you guys can listen very carefully, the way this is going, La Republic can see that they cannot fight this war by just driving their trucks to Southern Cameroon. They know. Okay? Even without IEDs, a clever person can dig certain holes in those roads and set traps like the, the, the Vietnamese did. And those trucks will fall inside on unsuspected massive holes and they will just not come out of it. There are so many ways to create that. We can get children to even design some of those. It's not something that we can be wasting our time discussing. Stopping the Republic from starving is a Saudi Cameroon does not need a, an excessive amount of money. It needs intelligence. 
he needs intelligence. A clever person can stop La Republic from traveling in any of those roads by taking control of those roads. But you need somebody to sit down and plan it. But that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm focusing on is the strategy change where you hit them in La Republic when they do something to you. What that means is that you are showing that you respect your country and your country is not going to put up with bad behavior from the other country. All right. This idea that we just stay out in Southern Cameroon and wait for them to come and kill people in villages and then we put it on the internet and put it in social media and be shouting and look at that man's eye. They've taken it. Look, look at they've blown that man's head off. Look at those things are done with machete with a gun, isn't it? They are doing that with a gun. They're not doing that with a a 300 million pounds drone. Is that what they are doing? They're not doing that with a couple sophisticated equipment. They are doing that with a Kalashnikov, which you have. So they are coming to your area with a Kalashnikov and they are co committing atrocities with the Kalashnikov. It, you know, let, let's drop it down a little bit. Let's say a, a, a Wondo man comes to, 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 to Ntenako or to, you know, with a, with, with, a, with, with a machete and he decides to kill a grandmother with a machete. What will happen with this inter with the interior government? I'm afraid to say they will just announce it. Look at these people. They are terrible. They've come with a machete and they've killed a woman. That is similar to the kind of thing that we do. And Southern Cameroonians have a machete. They can go and do exactly the same thing in that country. So why are they doing to you things like that when, when they know that you can do the same? That's because, that's because they have no respect for you. It's disrespect. If a, if a Cameroon soldier is driving and he sees somebody in a village, a farmer going to farm and just takes a gun and shoot that farmer, right? You, 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 can't, you can do the same, right? A Southern Cameroonian can just get into a taxi, be driving to San Balima, see somebody in the forest, open fire, shoot them. You can do the same. Why are you not doing that? Why are we not just going and shooting people randomly in Francophone area? That is critical. We need to understand the difference here. It is a psychological problem. This war is a psychological problem. The people who are controlling us now, I'm afraid to say they are actually, they have respect for Yaoundé. They grew up, Yaoundé was their capital. Paul Bia is their president and they, they are still in that frame of mind that, you know, that is Yaoundé, that is the seat of government, that is where the, 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 the institutions are and that is our boss. You don't go and mess around there. They don't. It's not consciously, subconsciously, we are frightened of Yaoundé. So somebody can leave Yaoundé with a pen knife and come and stab somebody in Boya. You will not go to Yaoundé with a pen knife and stab him. Why? Because it's Yaoundé. Yaoundé is the capital. You are, you are shouting Boya all day, but you are frightened of Yaoundé. You are just scared of those people. You are frightened of them. And that is why they burn your village. You go and hide in the bush and come and complain. Every day, oh, they burn 500 villages. You are proud to announce it when you can burn his own, but you don't do it. Why? Because you see him as your slave master. And the slave master is the one that delivers the punishment. Think about the Southern Cameroonians. Think about it. Most of the biggest things they've done with us, they've done it at no cost. Think about Gabu Massacre. What was it? Some Sangalongs from La Republic with a Kalashnikov went to a village and shot 13 people. That is something that we cannot achieve. Come on, be Kumba, Kumba Massacre. What was it? A few guys in the motorcycle went to a school and shot some kids. That's something that we cannot do in the Francophone zone. No, we can do the same. But why are we not doing it? Because we are slaves of the Betty Bulu Ewondo tribe. We've accepted it. And the slave master is the one that dishes out the punishment. Not you.
you you are not you are not you don't have the authority to go and kill a betty child inside yaounde because you are inferior think about it you bakure, a bakure child cannot go and kill a, a wondopi child because you are inferior to the Betty Bulu tribe. Subconsciously, you look at them as you are superior. Have you ever heard the interim government say that they will attack Yaounde? They don't say it. And the reason why they don't go to Yaounde is because they are subconsciously frightened and subconsciously subservient to the tribe of Betty Bulu Ewondo. Subconsciously, they, they think those people are superior to them. We have to put it the way that it is. Okay? Some of the things that are being done to us Southern Cameroonians are so cheap and so affordable. It's not as if they are using the B2 bomber to come to our country and bomb us, is it? It's not as if they are using sophisticated technology to come and kill us, are they? No. They are using a gun. A truck. Some uneducated Cameroon soldiers to go to our village, drive on our road, go to our village and kill our children. But we can do the same, but we don't. Why? Because we have accepted the position of a slave. And a slave is the one that receives the punishment. A slave does not give the punishment. That is the truth. Okay? That is the truth. Because if we were not slaves, I'm telling you, if we did not think like slaves, by now, the Yaounde would have been flattened. Yes, it is. That's just the fact. <laughs> because they don't mind burning 500 villages and the interim government is very proud to tell you that on the on the social media that they have burnt 500 villages but what he fails to tell you is that he has done nothing to the people of the uh, La Republic of Cameroon zero he has never been there. He doesn't plan to go there. He's not talking about going there. And I mean, the truth of the matter is, as I said, he, they can cry money and much as they do as they want. But some of these things that they've done without to us has not been money. It has been a motorcycle of about 150,000 francs CFA with somebody sat behind them with a Kalashnikov and they've rode that motorcycle and gone and killed people in villages. That's what has happened randomly that's what has happened well i will leave it for now because this is pretty strange and serious at the same time i'll leave it for now but we need to remember that most of the atrocities that has taken place in southern cameroon has been done cheaply with an affordable equipment it has not been done by a sophisticated army whatsoever. It, has, it is well affordable. And it is the choice. It is the decision of Southern Cameroonians themselves to stand and take this punishment and not retaliate. It is our decision. It is not the decision of the international community. It is not the decision of La Republic. If they burnt your village and you don't burn their own, it is your decision. It's not that it's difficult to do. It's you that has decided that in your spirit, you are inferior to those people and that they can burn your village and you cannot dare to burn their own because you are not of the same class. They can come with soldiers and destroy your capital, which is Boya, but you don't go anywhere near their own. It is your decision. Okay, I'm not advising you to do that. It is curious, but interesting at the same time, how psychology can play a game in somebody's brains. Okay, it's a psychological war. And people do things because they believe that they can do it. All right. And if you don't believe 
that you are equal to somebody, which is what I'm beginning to think. If you don't believe that you are equal to Betty Bulu Ewondo people, then if they come to you to Boya and shoot a child or shoot a woman or shoot uh, or burn a village, you can go to Yaounde and do the same. It doesn't cost any money. This is Critical Information Bureau coming from Hall, England. Eyonga Kumbe speaking. Until next time, stay safe.